Hi, my name is John John. This is the front view of my elbow. My elbow is formed by connecting three bones, namely the humerus, the radius, and the ulna. The humerus has two condyles, the capitulum and the trochlea. The trochlea has a surface in its lateral portion, which is situated between the condyles. In lateral view, this tricondylar portion is seen as concentric with each other. Concentric means one circle over another, or one circle inside another circle. In lateral view of the elbow, this is the best evaluation criteria that you must see to say that your x-ray is in a true lateral. The radius and ulna are the bones responsible for flexion and extension movement of the elbow as they attach to the respective condyles, radius to the capitulum, and ulna to the trochlea. Lastly, what I want to show you are the fossae of the distal humerus. There is one in the front named coronoid fossa, and one at the back named olecranon fossa. These two fossae they serve as the resting place for the fat pads. Anterior fat pads to the coronoid fossa and posterior fat pads to the olecranon fossa. In lateral view, it's normal to see the anterior fat pads a little bit because of the shallow radial fossa. You will never ever see the posterior fat pad because of the deep groove made by olecranon fossa in the lateral view, unless if there is something wrong in the elbow like joint effusion. Well, if you don't have any questions, I guess that's it for today. Thank you for listening.